Hello guys, welcome to the sauce. We are at the uh, cinema launch of Two Rivers Mall and we have Aniko Woko, a popular PR guru, African regalia. How do you feel about uh, Africans and the representation that we are getting from uh, movies like Black Panther? Oh my god, I feel like it is so amazing and as a PR and marketing person or guru, I love the way it's been done and I think as Africans we can actually steal a leaf from it and just be happy about our heritage, be happy about showing out, be happy about dressing well, celebrating our culture, our people, our heritage, our jewelry. I really love it. First of all, it's not just that it's an amazing movie. This is a yeah. one movie of a kind, yeah. Africa driven, and there's a lot of a lot of learnings to be taken from it. And the largest screen in East Africa, come on. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm curious. I've seen large screens, yeah. but I'm really I'm really curious to see what it's gonna be like. So the, 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 anxiety, the, the anticipation is, is on another level. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Having Black Panda as the first movie being um, screened at the Century Cinema is really phenomenal because we are all about Africa. From the Black Panther uh, premieres that you've seen, who did you think uh, killed it fashion-wise? Um, Letitia. Letitia Wright easily. Yeah. And I feel like during this um, specific launch, I think she really brought out the best version of herself. But I might be biased because I think she's pretty as hell. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to be uh, in, a, in a space where Kenyan uh, filmmakers are being recognized and, you know, Showmax is doing that? Uh, it's a it's a very beautiful thing to watch. Um, there's an actor I was talking to and I was telling them that five years ago it was different if you were in this space and I think also you can attest to that. So to see the growth and especially the most beautiful thing is also to see how the fans are interacting with local which is something we never used to see. We are starting to see more ap appreciation for it so it's, it's, it's a very good thing and we are happy as Showmax to be the people who are the forefront of it all. Tell us where your outfit is from. Uh, well, you know, you know I make my closet, so yeah, yeah this piece is by me. So today I'm wearing a uh, navy. The the dress code was Hollywood glam. Yeah. So I'm in a double breast navy suit yeah. with a little bit of uh, a pocket square over here, a polka dot, uh, a navy shirt to match, yeah. and some double monk straps this way because you know you gotta keep it smooth always. You know, I saw a kente cloth being worn by, by by Black Panther's father and I said that is exactly what I, ha I have it. I have such kind of kente cloth which is expensive. Kente cloth is very, the cheapest kente cloth you'll find will be not the less than $600, right? Wow. That's the cheapest you ever wow, find. It's hand woven, it's, it's original craft and I can see a lot of people are wearing such a thing these days. If anybody knows me from my Instagram or pages, I don't wear suits. Yeah. I'm always yeah. in kaftans and everything because I embrace African heritage. Even when I heard about the dress code for today was like Hollywood glam, I was yeah. like Hollywood glam is not African, but my hubby was like, who yeah. said Hollywood glam is not African? I was like, wow, because Africa Hollywood is now mainstream Africa. Hollywood. Well, what I will say, there was a lot of unexpected twists and turns. I think the sequel was not what I imagined. So I think, I mean, I literally stayed awake for a movie that was two hours and 40 minutes long. That says a lot. And they paid a nice tribute to um, the late Chadwick. Yeah. Um, so it was a very, very beautiful film. I loved it. Definitely, I can't wait to see more from Black Panther and I can't wait to visit this theater again because it was amazing, very clean, very spacious and amazing sound. Favorite song from the soundtrack? Uh, I don't know, I like the one, with, I, I haven't heard all the songs, but I really like the one with Burna Boy and, uh, and Stormzy. That was dope. It felt so powerful to hear African music on such a big movie. So for me, that, that felt really good to hear Burna Boy's voice on that and uh, yeah, it was great. I had a really great time. I had a really great. Did you have a great time? Yes, I did. In fact, I should ask you some questions. I need to ask, <laughs> ask you some away. questions. Ask how, away. how are you feeling about being in front of the, you know, in like this this red carpet? Yeah. We're going for this big premiere. Yeah. How are you feeling? So amazing! Yeah. It's a great event, and we came looking ready. So amazing! That's amazing. Doesn't she look great? Woo! Thanks, guys. We had fun. <laughs>